I know that's tough for some folks. You know, they're like, ooh, but you about whatever man Jesus told them. And Luke, what did he tell them? He said, the time is coming. Sell your coat and get a what? A sword. And they say, here's two of them, Lord. He said, that, that'll work. <laughs> Jesus said, that'll work. He said something like that. Amen. Amen. And then in our country, we have the right to bear arms. Amen. Probably not past the 20th, but right now we have the right. Amen. And so, you know, and it's not even about guns for this country. It's just about freedoms. Your freedoms have to go. There's no way the Antichrist can rule if we have freedoms. And we're like the last of the last that they have to conform to the totalitarian mindset so that a dictator can rule the whole world. There's only one way the devil is going to rule the whole world. And that's if everyone is under totalitarian. There can't be liberties. So that's what all, that's what this election was about. That's what Trump was about. You know, they just took Trump and they made him a racist so that even though he's not, but they made him a racist so that black folks will hate liberty. Black folks won't want to make America great. Now look at the monikers they put on him. Make America great. He's for the prosperity of the country. He's for the liberties. He fought for liberties. Look at this. He fought against social media censorship. He even created a bill against social media. Media's censoring people. But, he, but if the media labeled him a racist, black folks hate all of that stuff. No, leave the media alone so they can censor us. No, take our guns and our liberties. No, no, because he a racist. Then they put the black woman with Biden. Biden is for everything the Bible is against. But black folks are for Biden. All you have to do is paint colors. See how easy that was? <laughs> but if you can just paint it the right color and rile Negroes up, they're going to go for the very thing that's going to destroy them. That's happened in every major society in the history of the world except the United States, but it's the United States' turn. The fall of a country. Make them accept it. The devil can't make anybody do anything. So you got to make the black folks kill liberty. Why is it about the black folks? Because the spirit came from Africa. The Yoruba spirit is African. Santeria is African. Those are the, that's the witchcraft that's controlling America. So they had to bring the Negro presence in some kind of way. Now they got white people painting themselves black. Y'all seen that? Man, they got a new turn black campaign now. That's, that's, that shows you real sensitive. Like, yeah. Turn black. Foolishness. They got a whole kit. Turn black kit. You better have some lips in that box. But you can't just paint it. <laughs> Ain't, that paint ain't going to do it, bro. You're going to do some adjusting to some stuff. Amen. <laughs> That's the bonus box, the plus box with the lips. That's the all the weight kit. <laughs> That's so stupid. All right, but anyway, so, you know, I don't have to sit here and preach on no political message. I'm, I'm not here to do that. I'm just letting you know what the Lord showed me. And it's just plain and simple. The black preachers are against God. Now, how are you a preacher against God? Had one of them say, and this is the dumbest thing ever. Yeah, if uh, uh, they act like uh, it, 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 all they want to talk about is aborted babies and babies in the bodies, but we need to talk about putting black folks in cages.
What's more important? Who's in cages? Who's in cages? How many black people in here in cage? How many of you know somebody in a cage? I don't know nobody in no cage. And can we go by what God hates? He hates abortion. He calls that, amen, he destroys whole nations over the killing of innocent. That's one of the seven things he said he hated in Proverbs. Hands that shed what? Innocent blood. He didn't say nothing about no cages in Proverbs. Matter of fact, he put his own people in bondage. God don't have a problem with people being in bondage. He does that sometimes. Hey, he figured if Paul can go to prison and write half the Bible or a big portion of the Bible for standing up for Jesus, folks can get locked up for acting a fool and going against him. Oh, look at the hand claps. Uh, 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 it makes too much sense, Elder. It makes too much sense. Cages. Where did that come from? Y'all don't Who in a cage? Go ask somebody in the overflow. Do they know somebody in a cage? Jail ain't a cage. They feed you in jail. Play basketball, lifting weights and that. They be communicating with me in jail. I'm like, man, how did you? Brother, I'm on lockdown. Can you say a prayer for me? Dude, how did you message me? What is going on in the prison system? What kind of equipment y'all got in there? There's no kind of time out or punishment going on? Well, yeah, just, the, I mean, I think, I mean, yeah, mm-hmm, just going to push the transgenders and the immorality, everything immoral, and preachers are just lining up behind it, all because of skin color. Oh, I thought you were deeper than that. I thought you had more sense than that. Skin color. We ain't special.